Palestine. This is the boat of the Philippines. And that of Qatar. This area shot shows <clears throat> the expanse of the Pearl River and the buildings alongside. What we see now is actually the Guangzhou Opera performances. This opera has a 300 year history and it's a very unique and traditional art form in Guangdong. It is as old as the Peking Opera. And it has its unique uh, singing and instrument styles. Well, this pleasure boat carries the athletes from Saudi Arabia. Singapore The boat of Sri Lanka is coming up next The Syria delegation is on this boat. And up next is the Chinese Taipei delegation. Now the fleet is about to cross another bridge over the Pearl River, that's the Jiangwan Bridge.
The bridge opened in 1994. Like any other bridge tonight, along the Pearl River, it is illuminated to welcome the athletes from all over Asia. This is the boat of Tajikistan, Tajikistan's boat. The boat of Thailand. Very strong Buddhist culture. Yes. Actually, many of the South and Southeast Asians have Buddhism mm -hmm. traditional. And this is the boat of East Timor. The boat of Turkmenistan. And the boat of United Arab Emirates. Well, the fleet is about to pass another place of interest that is Da Shato Pier. This is the boat of Uzbekistan. The boat of Vietnam. Followed by the boat of Yemen. As these, this is the Olympic flag.
They are the athletes from Kuwait. And finally, it's the host country, China. Of course, this is not a big boat. It it cannot carry all the athletes from China. And this time around, the Chinese delegation has sent its largest ever. Athletes teams to compete in the 16th Asian Games, and they are now eyeing at about 300 medals. Among them, 100 probably gold. So the home turf could provide some advantages for those athletes to have good performances. As this is a landmark place, it's called the Big,、uh, the、uh, Great Marshal's Residence Pier.、Uh, some children from the local community put up some performances、uh, along the riverside. So we can actually see the five mascots of this Asian Games in the background. Uh, the city of Guangzhou. What are those mascots? Well, the city of Guangzhou was known as the city of five rams or five、yes. goats, and this time I think they borrowed the idea also from the Be Beijing Olympic Games. You know, have several rather than just one. Right,、mascot. a set of mascots so that you know people、uh, like to buy a set and, rather、uh, than one. You're probably having a hard time remembering the names of all of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, definitely, I think the Guangzhou people will remember them. Well, after this, after the cruise boat show, will be the grand opening ceremony to be held in Haixingsha, the final destination of this、uh, voyage.、Uh, there are going to be a lot of highlights who will carry the、uh, the flags of the Chinese delegation, who will finally light up the cauldron at the 16th Asian Games, and we still have to wait for about two hours. To get to the answer to that, well, that is a special a boat cruise along the Pearl River, leading up to the opening ceremony of the 16th Asian Games, just only hours away, and we've carried with.、Uh, ca Cal coverage on that、uh, special pageantry in the past hour, but we will not be able to carry the、uh, opening games because of copyright、uh, concerns. But we will provide you the most up-to-date news coverage on what is happening at the opening ceremony and also the 16th Asian Games in Guangzhou. And I'm Zoe in Beijing. Thanks for joining with us, and we will see you very soon on the top of the hour.